Friday night under the lights. Start the weekend well. Great return, isn't it? Eight goals. Yeah, very impressive. Ten games, yeah, super. Eight goals from ten games. Let's hope that he can continue that against the Tottenham side, who, of course, won this competition last time out towards that right-hand side. And Ashcroft has got it towards the byline. He starts to go, cutting the ball back. There might be a shooting Ooh. opportunity here. Holding on to it, protecting it nicely before knocking it back into midfield, giving it to Brown who works it towards that left-hand side. Palace continuing to go. Oh. Omelu goes for goal, and that's a good save from Maguire. Quarter of an hour played, no goals as yet. Is this the moment for Palace? Austin goes for goal. It's taken a deflection off a Tottenham player. Corner ball. Turning away, getting towards the edge of the 18-yard box. That's a nice little win back and a good interception from Luke Brown. And now the chance to come forward down the left-hand side. Zach Marsh plays the ball over the top. Good ball towards Jerry Omelu. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper yeah. and beats him with clinical precision. What a finish from a player in great form. That's nine goals now in 11 games for Jerry Omelu. And you just always got the feeling as soon as he got that chance, the net would bulge. What a start. Crystal Palace won. Tottenham Hotspur nil. 20 minutes gone. Um, I think I think we've had the better of the play. We've um, Tottenham have kept it around the back and on the halfway line. They haven't really penetrated the back four. Um, we, we've managed to move the ball forward, and this is a really good ball. Ball's won back in defence. Move forward. I think it's Zach in possession. Jerry just runs and just gets in between the two centre backs. And I can't understand how the Neary centre back doesn't come round the number four, doesn't come round, doesn't see the danger and come round on the cover. Um, he's, he's standing in the middle of the pitch there just looking around well I think the coach will be looking at you at half time I'd say there was an advantage as he plays the ball on here Marjoram and now it's with Indelo Mustafa can he square up the defender and go on the outside he knows that Marjoram's there plays oh. the ball across goal in fact I'm not sure if he was going for goal yet oh. <laughs> some accolade isn't it dear 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 he's got a lot to live up to as the ball's floated in here header goes in and that's a good save from Izquierdo Tugging yeah, at the shirt. I, I, I just don't think there's any. I'd book for any time somebody grabs somebody's shirt. Here's Marjoram into the 18 yard box. He goes, looks oh. to try and bend one towards that bottom corner. So, so close, Mark Bright. Excellent pace. He really did stretch the team there, leading the line, running in behind, creating chances, taking chances. It's everything you want from your nine. Oh, Good slotted well. ball in towards Mustafa here. One on one with the goalkeeper. Can he double the lead? Yes, he can. <laughs> very, very impressive. He just checked back, took his time before slotting home a fourth goal of the season. Very impressive from Mustafa. Crystal Palace like a knife through butter. The lead has been doubled. It's Palace 2, Tottenham Hotspur nil. Super goal. Super, super, super goal. Everything that we know he can do. Uh, now he's doing it, did it for the 18s, doing it for the 21s. Um, he's, he's playing off the front, he's close. Little run in here behind. Right, this is where he's at his best. Defender's struggling to get back, chops inside, but quickly finishes with the left foot. And all sorts, and then they, they couldn't play. Um, but yeah, it's looking grand now, looking a lot better and um, playing well. Here's Jerry Omelu, might be in here, he's got one, can he make it two? Wow. He can, arrows it into the bottom corner, a brilliant finish, that's ten goals for the season, low into the bottom corner, he's on a hat-trick, Palace in dominant performance mode here, it's Crystal Palace three, Tottenham nil. I mean, that's hard to know what to say, within like 20 seconds or so, the, the team talk, the, the 50 minutes at half-time, the you can imagine what Wayne Burnett must have been saying to the players. You know, get out, get a good start, go and get, get at them, win the ball, get in their half, turn them round, have some shots, have some corners. And a loose back pass, Jerry's onto it, nice and composed, finds the bottom corner. They've gone from 3-0 to 2-0 in like, what, 15, 20 seconds? I mean, great for us, but, you know, disastrous for Tottenham. Palace defensively at the expense of a throw, four minutes gone in this second half. 3-0 is the lead. Oh. But the lead has been reduced there. Good finish from Tottenham low into the corner. They're back in the game, would you believe? And it's Yusuf Akamrich, the winger, who scored the goal. He quickly picks up the ball, takes it back to the halfway line. 
And could Tottenham be back in this? Crystal Palace 3, Tottenham 1. Had they got that goal, you know, at 2-1, two, two, um, definitely feel it. Oh, that's it. Here come Palace now, down this right-hand side. Can they get a fourth here? Jerry Omelu on a hat-trick. Wants to get it back onto that left foot. Oh. Goes for goal. What a brilliant strike. A low back lift. And he's just arrowed it into that bottom corner, beating the goalkeeper from range. Aaron Maguire got down, but he couldn't get down quickly enough. And that's because it was hit with clinical precision. Jerry Omelu's taking home the match ball. It's Crystal Palace 4, Tottenham 1. What a great response. Great response, straight down the other end, put the pressure on. Look, you can see Tottenham are tight. They've got tight in two occasions there, but they've not won the ball. Hindo just comes inside. There you go, Jerry. He's got options to his left. Tees it up. Low shot. Keeper's probably unsighted. And it's got it's crept in the bottom corner. Um, you know, exactly what you want your team to do. Just as they get themselves celebrating, they get the ball, they rush back to the halfway line, you punish them again. There he goes. Oh, thought he was in there. Brown has got it, gives it to Gibbard. Now the chance to come forward here from a Palace perspective. Worked out towards Marsh. Marsh goes across goal. Jerry Omalua peeled off towards that back post, not far away. Great play from Joe Gibbard. Aware enough that things going on around him. Here he goes. Well, he's on the move the here, looking to try and get into the box. There might be the chance just to cut it back. He's gone for goal Ooh. again. Wanting to get it back onto that right foot, sliding a little ball through to Omelu, who got it back to him. Hindelo Mustafa here, still going. Can he work a shooting opportunity? No is the answer. Back to Austin, who goes for goal. Looks to me... Has Iro come on? Oh, well, chance, chance. In towards Jerry Omelu on that left foot, bends one towards the bottom corner, he's gone just wide. There's on the edge of the 18-yard box as Jerry Der uh, Jesse Derry throws oh. one in. Header goes in. Good save from the goalkeeper. I think it was Brian who had the header. Yeah, it was. Floated in again from the right foot. In towards the He's goal. And this time the goal has been scored. And Sean Grian has got his name on the score sheet. A five-star performance this from Palace. Tottenham have been second best all night. Just look at that scoreline. Crystal Palace five, Tottenham one. Well, denied on the first attempt and then scores on the second. Um, good header of the ball, Sean. And then when no one gets out to the ball quick enough, Je um, Jesse puts it back in, it pitches, and then you can see Sean keeps his eye on it, heads it in the back of the net, and assist for, um, for Jesse. And Tottenham getting the opportunity to come forward here. Olesesi has got it, plays the ball across goal, and that's good goalkeeping from Ischiedo. Jerry Omelu's been such a threat. Go and he's on, on the ball here again, just holding off the defender. Be this is hard. wonderful number nine play. Jerry Omelu's got a player on his outside, wants oh, to go for goal again. Jerry. Sometimes the referee take away that, that fight in the player because they don't allow the players to battle for the ball. And it's not every challenge is a foul. No, a good point. Well made, Mark Bright alongside. It's in the commentary Ooh. box as the effort goes in. It's gone agonisingly wide. It's going to be a corner. Spurs patient in their build-up. Looking to try and score what will be a second goal and a consolation, and they bent it just wide. Mm. Yeah. Tottenham have got the ball here with a Camrich. Offside. The referee has looked across to the line, offside yeah. flagged. And we are now in stoppage time, yes. in stoppage time. There we go. And there goes the full time whistle, and what a performance it's been. Look at that full time score line. Jerry Omelu scoring a hat trick, Hindelo Mustafa, and Sean Grian also on target, but it will be Jerry. Gaining all of the plaudits, it's 11 in 11 games for him so far this season. What a return it's been from the Palace number nine and what a scoreline that reads.